We all have our favorite memories of Detroit, whether it's the department stores or the movie theaters, the parks, or even the ice cream fountains. But what connects us to all these places might be what connected them in the past, the streetcars. I remember about the streetcars that it cost six cents to ride and the transfer was one penny. You had to run out to the center island to get out of the thing and avoid all the cars, just getting out to where you boarded the thing. Then the thing would take off, and they had kind of a direct drive. So when they floored the things, I mean, they'd throw you backwards. They were fast, and when they got going, everybody got out of their way. They're really fun, with the bells clanging and the sparks flying off the top. The uh, politeness of the conductor, the brass um, gleaming in the daytime and in the early twilight, the ding, ding, ding of the bell. It was like going on an adventure every time you got on one in the beautiful gleaming glass. I mean, they were just very elegant. As you got closer to the downtown area, once you passed the David Whitney building, you had Russics and you had Grinnells, you had DJ Healy's, they had Seagulls. Frank and Cedars used to be on Woodward Avenue. There was one restaurant called The Ambassador that made the greatest grilled cheese sandwich you ever wanted to eat. It was an open-faced grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> you don't think a grilled cheese is so unusual, but theirs was unusual. The neat thing was it went all the way, if you stayed on the Woodward car, went all the way out to Eight Mile Road and turned around right at the city limits. And I remember riding them just for the fun of it, because I was such a streetcar fanatic at the time. Just got on a ride out there, go out and ride back, just to be riding on the things. I never thought of the streetcars as romantic or wonderful until I found out that they were going to disappear. And uh, my children were very young when they, when they took the last Woodward cars off the line. So. Uh, I think we went down and uh, everybody got a ride on the streetcar. I'm not sure they remember that very much, but I sure do. It has been suggested that when we reflect upon the past, we enlarge what is no longer there. Could the giant stove in Hudson's flag really be that big? Were summers at Jefferson Beach and ice skating on Belle Isle really more fun back then? Was music really sweeter at the vanity? or in the valley. In the final analysis, perhaps it is not the places or things that count the most in our memories. Maybe it's the people with whom we shared the good times, our families, our friends, or even complete strangers. Thank you for sharing some of your time with us tonight and helping us remember when.